our friends from Restaurant 18 are here. Waleed is the uh, executive chef. Waleed, good morning. How are you? Good morning. How are you? The sommelier is Matthew. How are you, Matthew? Good, sir. How are Welcome you? to the show. Thank you. Pleasure I know you're getting all ready for a big night tomorrow night, right? Yeah. That's correct. Valentine's evening is big at uh, Restaurant 18. Yeah, it's pretty busy day for. Yeah, yeah. Sold out so far. So. Yeah, yeah. That's good. Yeah, yeah there is a waiting list. Right. <laughs> uh, currently, there is. We've had a few late cancellations, but always some some late uh, yeah. late reservations as well. Gotcha. Ducks on the menu, eh? Ducks on the menu. We're doing duck three ways today. Okay. What are you doing first? Uh, we're, we're doing duck breast that's been spice stocked, and spice stock essentially just uh, a brine, but with lots of uh, strong spices: mm -hmm. alder cone, my marica gale, uh, cinnamon, nutmeg. And then we right. have uh, a chocolate. Those two I understood. I yeah. the <laughs> first one's, I don't know. Yeah. What uh, else you got going? We're doing duck torsha, which is essentially a cold preparation. It's a preserved preparation of foie gras. Okay. And we're also doing torchere, which we have in the oven. Oh, nice. Uh, they're all going to be small, and that's going to be finished with uh, Olivia's 76% demi glaze. Is it my imagination, or is duck made a serious comeback when it comes to serving it in restaurants Absolutely. in the last couple of years? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. More so foie gras. More people are more encouraged to do foie gras these days. Yeah. Okay. And even, even duck breast. I mean, duck leg was yeah, more popular. Yeah, yeah. I think, yeah. Duck breast I think you're right. Like, it wasn't on a whole lot of menus uh, up until recently. Yeah. And then it's making a comeback. Yeah. Can't, uh, you know, you can't beat the duck. There's no question. <laughs> All right, we're going to let you get going, Waleed. I'm going to talk wine nice. with Matthew yeah. here. For sure. Uh, Valentine's wine. Does it make a difference what kind of wine you choose on a Valentine's Day? Uh, you know, you want the romance to be there, but uh, I think uh, all wine is kind of romantic in itself. Yeah. Uh, so today, today we're actually pairing a wine with uh, with Wally's uh, course. Exactly. So because you now, are, do you pair it with duck, or do you look at the actual recipe itself? Uh, a little bit of both. Uh, duck, I, I would normally pair with something like a Syrah, especially from France, because you want it to be a bit smoky, because duck has that kind of smoky iron type flavor to it. Right. Uh, but Wally'd like to uh, make things difficult for me, so uh, he paired <laughs> it. He paired it with a chocolate sauce for kind of a Valentine's Day theme. Right. Uh, as well as a, uh, a torchier and, and, uh, and a terrine. So the terrine is very fatty, so sometimes you need a, a more acidic wine, something with a bit of richness to help cut through right. some of that fat. Now you brought this wine. What is this? This is uh, from the Villa Bella House in, uh, in the Veneto region. So just north of Verona, we have uh, Valpolicella. So this is a blend of Corvina and Rondinella mm -hmm. done in a Ripasso style. Right, right. Yeah. You want to pour a glass and we'll have a look at it? Absolutely. All right. I'll let you do that. You're the expert. <laughs> That's all, right. all they say. <laughs> It's interesting, you know, still a lot of people becoming more and more uh, interested and involved in the uh, world of wine. Eh? I agree. I think, uh, especially in Ottawa, it's certainly grown, uh, it's certainly grown to, uh, to, to more heights. You know, there's uh, people taking courses, people really just enjoying wine. wine yeah, and, 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 you know, a year, it's, it's your line of work and so on, and, and that's all well and good, but people taking uh, an interest in it just for their own for curiosity, sure. right? Absolutely. Just so they know a little bit more about wines yeah. and what they're looking for. And I don't disagree. All that sort of thing. I've learned this from several sommeliers. Yeah, the road yeah. And, uh, yeah, this right, technique this is helps my to, one talent, and yeah, it helps to bring the air into the wine. Right. Kinda, and then I know you're supposed to do this. Yeah, give it a smell. You should get some uh, pepper and cinnamon, much like uh, I much got like the pepper the right away. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, uh, some dark cherries, some really nice flavors. Yeah, can you actually, as a sommelier, and and the way you've been trained pick up those scents immediately or is, um, yeah, or is it, it a taste thing for you? It's, I think it's a bit of practice. I know it sounds uh, it sounds weird to say that you know you have to practice drinking but you do you become more familiar with uh, what certain grapes will taste well, like and smell like. To be honest with you Matthew I mean anybody could come in here and say uh, you should uh, you know there's peppers and there's cherries and all that sort of thing and I, I, I'm gonna believe them right <laughs> yes. but you actually pick that up and yeah absolutely I mean uh, um, I, I attribute that to uh, to the, the, the good teachers I've had and, uh, and the courses I've taken that mm. really helped out mm. were you interested in wine at a young age or this I grew up in a really small town uh, called Kingsville Ontario and uh, oh yeah where's that it's uh, the most southern town in Canada so it's uh, they do have Pele Island winery so I did grow up uh, drinking wine uh, you know uh, with family dinners, things like that, mm -hmm. when uh, big European style family. So, certainly something uh, that's been in my family for a long time. That's very nice. It's very nice, yeah. It's got some richness to it, so. Yeah. You know what? In the end, uh, this is paired with the duck and all that, and I'm sure Matthew would tell you that uh, drink whatever wine you like. Absolutely. In the end. But if you need some advice and that sort of thing, or some more suggestions, we're right? there for you. That's what you do. Okay, uh, we're going to keep working while Lee's going to keep working on the duck in the kitchen. We'll show the finished product a little later. Maybe have a little more wine. I don't see why not. <laughs> You know, doesn't seem to be a problem with that.